If you recently got a Fitbit, here's what you need to know about the newly designed Fitbit application on your PC and also phone. Welcome to the show, my name is Domingo, and like I said in the intro, today we're going to show you how to use the newly redesigned Fitbit application. So if you don't have a Fitbit, then this video may not be for you, but this is also a great app for people that are Fitbit enthusiasts. So, if you have a Fitbit Flex, Charge, whatever you have, this is the hub to access all of your fitness data when you wear your Fitbit. So, what this shows here is that it shows five main options. The option is the main dashboard which you see all of your statistics right here. It shows how many calories you burned, how many kilometers you've gone, how many minutes you've worked out, how many steps you've done, and also for certain Fitbits how many floors of stairs you've done. So most Fitbits that are newer have this feature but Fitbits like the Flex and the Alta also have that feature. The Alta has that feature but not the Fitbit Flex. Unfortunately, this also shows on the right side here your five days of weekly exercise and then this also shows your weight Then also shows calories taken and this also shows how many times that you are moving within the day If you're moving every hour of the day with over 250 steps That's what it shows here and this is where the badges show up if you do a lot of steps and this is how much water you drink So we're gonna go over this in great detail So we're gonna click on one of the windows here and it shows charts for every time you use your Fitbit So let's say that I want to know how many calories burn so I click on the calories chart and it shows throughout all the week all the calories that I have burned and it shows in great detail from this week to the number of calories shown and the green star shows that you have met the calorie goal now I burn on an average of 3,000 calories a day now 3,000 calories is basically an equivalent of two pounds so 1500 calories equals a pound so I burn two pounds a day according to what this says but if my data is incorrect leave it in the comments below so we're going to go back to the dashboard and see how many distances we've traveled so this also charts how much distance you've traveled over the week and vice versa and we're gonna to go to the water function here so you click on the water function and let's say you've had a glass of water you click on that and then it adds it up to the chart and then you can do the same with one bottle and one large bottle and then you can go from week month three months to a whole year so that is a really cool feature when you want to know the statistics. And also, I have a Fitbit Charge HR, which is the heart rate monitor. And this is where you can scan your heart rate. Now, I have to have it synced up here so that I can find out what my resting heart rate is. But my average resting heart rate is around 69 beats per minute, according to what the graphs say. And also, if I keep myself very still and allow the tracker to track my application, or my heart rate, I should say, it will give it to me on this graph that you see here. Now, we're going to go back to the dashboard, and then what this information box is, is that it shows how much are you doing every hour. And then you can customize the hours you want to track here. So you press on the gear, and then it allows you to do that. So most of the time, I'm moving at least every hour. These little blank spaces here means that I haven't done any activity, but the red circles here mean that I've done a lot of activity, that I basically move every single hour. I am not confined to a chair. I don't just sit there all day. I make sure that I move, move, move. And then you can also look at other pages here to show how much activity. And then there's also a stationary period where you track down how long you're stationary. Now we're going to move on to the sleep chart here so you can click on here and look at how much sleep you're getting. My Fitbit has the ability to track sleep. I just have to constantly wear it so that it tracks my sleep properly. So with that being said, if you want to know how well you're doing when it comes to sleeping, this chart will help you to allow yourself to identify which areas are your trouble areas where you're having sleep. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the dashboard and that's pretty much just the gist of it. So we're going to go to challenges here and see what there is to offer. Now you can access all of this on your phone. Now basically I have currently active challenges here. So what challenges are is that challenges are set events that allow you to have more than 30 players and also a goal in mind. 
So, what there is is that you can select Yosemite Vernal Falls. Solo adventures are basically like a single player game. And then there's also challenges like Gold Day, Work Week Hustle, Weekend Warrior, Daily Showdown. And then you can see all challenges when you click here and vice versa. So it constantly allows you to challenge yourself to do these events. And then let's say you click on a solo adventure. And here, Vernal Falls. Let's just say we're going to start a challenge. We're going to start the Vernal Falls challenge. So it's for one player and the goal is 15,000 steps. So we're going to start that tomorrow. So now that I have clicked on that, the challenge will load into my journal so that when I do make 15,000 steps, it will let me know what to do. So it is really, really cool to just identify with certain geographical places in the world. And there's like so much to do here. It's amazing. And then there's also time left to start. Then it shows a map of all this okay so the challenges app usually allows you to do adventure races solo adventures and then challenges by competing with friends and family which is really nice guidance is a option where you can allow yourself to use other resources to select anything that you want like workouts so it gives you the option to watch personalized workout videos like muscle mix cardio crunch warm it up and then the strong variety so if you click on one of the links it will take you to the FitStar application which will allow you to mix it up and then your friends list is what will appear here as you can see I have all my friends listed on the left side here and then I have notifications right here so this is basically a messaging service that you can use between people that use Fitbit and this is really cool so this is all my messages here so we're gonna add a friend right now and we've just accepted the friend request so these are all the badges that are listed here I've earned a helicopter skyscraper Ferris wheel lighthouse redwood forest and the happy hill badge now these some of these badges are pretty cool so we're gonna go back to the main page of Fitbit which is the dashboard and you can go from yesterday to today and what have you and then you can also add to other things so you can log your weight you can set an alarm you can log your sleep you can log the water and then on smartphones this is a very important option you can use this to scan barcodes of different foods so let's say we're gonna enter our food here now the blue means that I am under my calorie target if it's green it means I'm in the zone and if it's pink that means I am over the calorie limit but what this also features is then this is a great thing about the Fitbit application with the updates you can play with macronutrients so macronutrients are basically proteins fats and carbs now if you have a certain goal that you want to meet let's say you want to have a high protein low carb diet then you go through each of the lists here and log your food and then when you log a certain amount of food it shows up onto the macronutrients chart to see how much you've been playing with well playing with your macros is a lot of things that people do so what I have here is 45% carbs 35% fat and 20% protein and I have all the food that I've eaten on this chart and then it shows previous things that I've charted now I just started logging my food Wednesday so I haven't really used this function because the Fitbit app before wasn't really as precise and as clear as it is now. So now that I'm using the Fitbit app to track my nutrients, I used to use my fitness pal to log my food. But now that the Fitbit app has improved so much, I am now going towards this application. And you can also do it on your phone as well. This is just when I'm at home and I journaled everything and I could also use my phone to journal my food as well so this is a really great way to make a food journal and then what you can also do is you can also press this to pin the tile to start and then you can click yes and we'll do that and then what you can also do here is you can add quick calories so let's say you had something that was about 6,000 calories which <laughs> which is pretty impossible unless you had five baconators but let's just say you wanted to say you added a 100, 100 calorie granola bar so you enter breakfast then 100 and then you press the check mark on the bottom here or you can press the three dots here where it shows you the advanced options so we're gonna just close out of that and then it also shows here a microphone application so it allows you to use 
the Fitbit for voice recognition and then it also allows you to start listening. So basically this is still in beta right now so that means it's not working at the moment but there is this function that allows you to scan the barcode as well. So you click on the barcode and then it opens your camera and then allows you to look for the barcode. No, I'm not a barcode so we're just going to exit out of this. And then what it also has here are the three dots and then it just shows you voice, ad, log, and unpin. So we're just going to leave that pin right now. So we're going to go to dashboard here. And that is pretty much how you use it. So I've just shown you the ways to add windows, play around with the functionality, and also how to just add certain things. And we're just going to go through track exercise one more time. And <laughs> I know, this is like, that computer looks really heavy. Are you sure you want to exercise with it? This is just basically here so that I can track my distances. So I'm not going to exercise with my computer. I'm going to use my Fitbit. And then there's also voice cues as well. You can also do this on your phone. So you don't generally have to do this on your computer. So this is a way that you can use your application on your phone and on your computer. Now, I've just shown you how to do it on the desktop, but the interface is all the same on mobile phones and devices. So anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it very helpful. And if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments below, and I will be more than happy to answer them back. So have a great day, and remember, domination is almost here. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.